Hey guys, just before the tutorial starts, I just wanted to let you know that me and a few other game dev creators are creating a podcast called Overscoped. We have a few videos up there already. Would you be okay with a game, 100% someone else's assets, you never edited a model ever. It's all assets you bought on the link. I love you, buddy. I'm are not good at making ass. I'm not I agree. good at making art. What do, you, what do you say to those people? They just can't make games? Honestly, you have to edit the assets for your game if, you, if you're paying for them. He will go into indie games and like point out certain things and go like, oh, that's an asset, that's a paid asset, that's a paid asset, that's a paid asset. And then people from his community will go and like dogpile on this person. Oh, that's who's so shit. As a gamer, um, I don't care about the creative integrity of the art. You, were you not impressed? What did you think? <laughs> I like, was oh, impressed! It's a great point that I think actually leans towards me. You decided to creatively express yourself in this way, and it didn't work out because you're not that talented in it. But I disagree. <laughs> Completely. Maxi, I will fucking beat you. I will find you and fucking beat you to, to the ground. Put that shit away. God, I feel I like a teacher. I'm a fucking school. <laughs> But be sure to check that out if you're interested in game dev talks and stuff like that. But without any further ado, let's just get into the video. Hello and welcome. Uh, this video is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to make an audio options menu. And it's going to be part of a series where I show you how to make all the different types of menus that you would in a normal options menu in your game. So I'm just going to assume that you already have a scene set up like anyone else would. And first we're going to come down to this audio tab here. You'll notice we only have a master channel. Most games have different types of channels, like you would see they would have main sound, but also like sound effects and music and stuff like that. So we're going to add those two as well, just for now. Obviously you can add more than that if you have more channels you want to split up your stuff into, but I will just add sound effects and music for now. And once you got that one out of the way, we're going to add a use interface node. I'm going to call this our options menu. So our first one that we're adding is going to be our audio options. Underneath the audio options, we're going to create a VBOX container. And then underneath that, we're going to add our sliders. So this one's going to be a H slider. And we'll just duplicate that three times, as you can see. Um, but the sliders also need labels, so we know what the slider is talking about. So we'll also add three labels. And now these have to be kind of rearranged in the display. So one label goes on top of another. Right, so we could do whatever text we want. So master. And we'll name this one sound effects. And finally we'll name this one music. Now we'll select all of them. We can go down to alignment here, check this align with expand and then we can go like this. And then we can just resize the container to whatever dimensions you want really. But something in the middle like that looks pretty good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two scripts, one on our options menu, just save it like that. And also another one on our audio options. So our options menu is gonna handle saving all of our choices and then our audio options is going to put the slider values where they were before. So speaking of saving, while we're at it, let's just add a button as well. And this is going to be our apply or save or confirm changes button. And then we're going to connect pressed onto our options menu script. And now I'm just going to rename some of the nodes to make more sense when we're dealing with our references in the code. And then finally, we can select all of the sliders and then go into the inspector, set the min and max value to be zero and one, and then change the step. This one is, you can do whatever you want, but I can go for 0.05, which means it will snap to every 0.05 increment. And then finally, we're going to connect mouse exited into our audio options for all three sliders. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come to our ready function and then we're going to set the values to what they were saved to last time. So we can go drag the reference node and then go dot value equals db to linear is going to mean that once it reads the decibel reading from here, it's going to transfer it to a linear scale 
and it automatically does that via the function. And then to actually get the volume, we're gonna go to go audio server dot get bus volume db. And then the bus index is basically what order it comes up. So for a master one, it would be an index of zero. And we're just gonna duplicate this line two times using control shift D. And then we can just change the master slider to be SFX slider. And then we can change the final one to be music slider. Uh, I just dragged these across because I realized I didn't do it in the right order. But anyways, just make sure you reference the, the right one in these brackets. But we can see that our sound effects slider is the second one, so it's got an index of one, and our music is the third one, so it's got an index of two. Inside each of these, we are going to call release focus, and that's it. And then finally, in here, we can go audio server dot set bus db, and then our bus index is going to be. We'll start with zero and our volume is going to be linear to decibel because we're reading the linear value from the slider and then we can just drag and drop whatever node dot value here and then let's just duplicate that two times as well and then we'll just change up a few things so it lines up and that's all the code you need we can just save this as options menu and now just to put it into practice uh, we've got our practice tutorial scene if you're interested in how to make any of these so like the player movement or the background or even the pause menu all the links will be in the description for that one but if we go to our options menu we've just played you know a few audio cues we can turn down the sfx click apply you can't really hear the discord ping notification anymore now if we change that up and then now the Discord ping notification is quite loud and the music is quiet. And if we turn the master volume down, now everything is quiet. So that's all for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and it was helpful or useful in any way. But for now, that's all from me today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.